and welcome to another video so in today's video i'll be doing a get ready with me while answering some questions about myself i have a few questions written down i got these from google because i don't know social media this is what i got and of course today when i want to do a video like my hair is not loving me she's just like no disclaimer i am no makeup guru i don't know what i'm doing i'm just doing what works for me don't judge me okay so let's get started with today's video i'm going to use calamine lotion as a primer so i'm just going to like dab or not dab let's rather just like smear it in You can almost see like it's creating this foam on my skin. Which I think is a good thing, like it's creating a barrier, like it's protecting the skin underneath the makeup. I think I'm putting too much on my neck, like I really think I am. Okay, so this is what the primer looks like. First question, am I full name? Well, my actual name is Kirsty Jackson, but as y'all can tell, my YouTube name is Kirsty Scotch. Why is that? Well, being in the process of setting up my YouTube channel, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just like have a different name for my YouTube. One day I was like, jotting down names i did my name and i tried to spell it backwards and see like what it looks like how it sounds i couldn't even pronounce it so that was a no-go then when i did it with my last name it looked kind of cool and it sounded kind of cool it's probably not how you pronounce it but that's how i pronounce it and i think it just rolls off my tongue and that's why i'm cursing a scourge yeah i'm just rebranding myself it's okay it's okay uh, my star sign, I am a Cancer. Where was I born? I was born in South Africa, Port Elizabeth, and I'm still in South Africa, Port Elizabeth, and I'm still in the same home that I grew up in. So the foundation I'm going to use is the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat in the shade Soft Beige, and I think I'm going to apply a lot foundation today get my face beat that's what i'm gonna try today so what i do is just like i put the foundation on my hand and then i just go in probably not supposed to put it on my eyelids but this is my way of doing things forgive me if i'm doing it wrong I look like a ghost. <laughs> I don't know why when I took my veins like This is a lot of makeup. Oh my gosh. And then we go to the neck. I say you should always do the neck. Look at my vein over here. I like this vein that is poking out. I have a little trick. I've been looking for a flat brush to do my brows on a budget. I couldn't find any. So... I think like last week, I was like, I got some paint brushes not so long ago. 
And then I realized I have like this flat paintbrush. The brow shadow is the Wet n Wild. And to answer another question, do I have pets? I guess so, but they were like stray cats and we just ended up feeding them. Or I ended up feeding them. They were like this tiny and we've been feeding them since. So I guess they are our pets. We have two. The mom or the female we took to the animal shelter because she was just popping babies out. And no, we just couldn't deal with it anymore. So unfortunately, it was like a sad moment when we gave her away, but it needed to be done. So now we have two males, but the one I think she's a female, I call her mama because she just gave me female vibes. <laughs> I can't talk while doing my brows. Oh, this is dark. This is really dark. And also, I really struggled to get my brows symmetrical. Like one brow is really good and then the next one, it just looks really bad. I really want to get a brow pencil but they're so expensive. I bought myself the Essence brow pencil. This one. But it's awful. I use it as a lip liner. That is my brows. I know they look a little scary. I'm going to conceal with foundation. So this is the brows. I think now I can conceal my face, but before I conceal my face, let's answer a few more questions. Did I graduate? I graduated at the Nelson Mandela University. I'm not using that degree anymore. I'm just like pulling a 360. What is my pet peeve? Well, I have a few pet peeves. One of them is being ignored. I hate being ignored. Like, rather tell me like, I don't feel like talking right now, but don't just ignore me. I don't like being told to do something that I already know that I have to do it. Stinky smells really irritate me. And then dirty bathrooms. So before we go into some more questions, I'm going to conceal my face using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Medium Olive. And then I am going to take my beauty blender and because I'm being lazy, I'm going to use my setting spray to dampen my beauty blender because I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> oh, this is the setting spray from Maybelline. It is the matte finish. Let's do another question. How many siblings do I have? Well, from my mom's side, we are three girls. And then from my dad's side, we are quite a few. Next question. Do I have any tattoos or piercings? Tattoos, no. Piercings, yes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got one over here, but I don't have any chew in there but i do want to get my belly pierced really soon probably like in the next two weeks so i'm excited for that next question 
what is my comfort food i would say mcdonald's chili cheese fries or the burger king nacho cheese fries the milk dot milkshake from burger king the chili cheese triple chili cheese burger from mcdonald's but they don't sell the triple anymore i think they only have the double my personality when i'm on my cycle i have no personality when i'm on my cycle you don't want to be around me i am bad mood baby i won't say bad mood i just have a lot of moods in one minute i'll be happy sad angry frustrated any scars i have quite a few scars like on my arm they're not very prominent but i have like one two and then like this over here and they're all burn marks because i think i'm superwoman or like iron man when i'm cooking i just like pick up the pot and it's like so hot i'll take something out of the oven and it's like flaming hot it's too bronzer i have the maybelline face studio bronze color and highlighting kit oh and the brushes that i'm using is from sorbet i like creating like a shadow under my neck I have this again from Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I'm going to do a few questions before carrying on with my makeup because I'm almost done with my makeup and I have like two pages of questions left. Favorite singer or rapper, female artist would be Janae Aiko, Georgia Smith, her, Kalani. And then for male artists would be Draco, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, Russ. Yeah, I think that's about it. Probably have some more, but I can't think of any right now. Can I dance? Well, <laughs> my hidden talent. I can do this with my tongue. Clubbing or staying at home? Definitely staying at home. Clubbing? No. I went through like a three month phase where I was going to clubs and partying. And I think it was longer, probably like five months, six months. I was just going through something and I just wanted to explore and it's just not for me. So I like to go over to people's places, have like a butcher course, have your ciders, chill, vibe. Like that's my kind of vibe. Curly or straight? Well, clearly the curls are popping. Well, not today. She's dealing with her own moods. So I'm letting her be, but curly definitely. Something I love about my partner, he challenges me. Something I don't like about my partner. He challenges me. Something I'm insecure about. Okay, well, if this were like two years ago, three years ago, let's say two years ago, I wouldn't even be talking about this. I wouldn't even show you. I wouldn't be doing none of this because it's something that I was really insecure about. Okay, I'll show you my first one. My first one is my belly. So I don't have like the any. I don't know, I guess I'd always compare myself to other people and then I'd say, oh, these don't look like mine but anyway i don't care it's looking kind of weird because of these lines I'll, this is how high i wear my pants yeah and then another very very big insecurity that i kind of still am insecure about but not as much i think I am way better now than what I was. When I was in 12th grade, I was like really stressed because I was like that student that wanted A's and stuff. And then I noticed like one of my fingers were looking kind of odd. It was just like something was different suddenly about this finger. And I ignored it. And then months later, I was like, because I had shown people and I told people and people were like, 
it's okay you just stress it will go away it didn't go away so i went to the hospital and this did some x-rays and stuff and then they referred me to a bone specialist which i did not go to which i probably should have i'm just living with it right now accepting so i'm going to show you it is this little guy over here it looks really different so this is what you call a clapped finger as you can tell my, my other fingers they look normal but yeah don't never mind my nails right now i chipped a few nails so i just this is mr oddy i welcomed him to the family i was like oh shame party i hated you for so long but i'm finally starting to accept you into my life it's okay and now and then you will probably see me kind of hiding it because it's almost like it's a natural instinct because I'm always hiding that finger. We're still healing. Physical trait I love about myself, I would say my legs. Characteristic I love about myself, I am compassionate and being patient is something that I love about myself. It's my superpower. And then have I traveled out? of the country no i haven't even traveled much inside the country i've only been like to jeffrey's bay cape town small little dorpies but hopefully that will change soon god willing me one of my dreams well one of my biggest dreams is to become so financially stable that i'm able to give my mom whatever you know her heart desires so i think that is one of the big dreams that i have what values do i live by integrity and being able to stay true to yourself like always stay true to yourself because society is built to make us all the same and no no matter what experiences you go through always remember who you are as a person remember before the hurt before the breakup before he cheated before she cheated before all of that like who are you what is something that you value were you a happy person were you a kind person then don't allow this world to change who you are to stay true to yourself i know it's so difficult but trust me it's really rewarding what is my motto the more i have the more i have to give oh and then another one under one of my biggest dreams is to become a philanthropist because like i want to help i want to live in purpose and i feel like my purpose is to help to give to inform to to make people believe that there are good people out there still in this crazy world that want to make a difference favorite sport well I, i'm not a sporty person back then i was into netball favorite movie or tv show favorite movie would be the one with angelina jolie maleficent magnificent i don't know but you know when she's a witch yeah that one is my favorite i like like magical type of movies like queens and kings and vikings and stuff like that and then favorite youtuber i can't give you a favorite because i'm like probably subscribed to over 300 youtubers international youtubers would be lisa anoa i guess that's what the name is Alyssa and charles local i'm subscribed to just javas really cool guy subscribe to his channel it's up from here that's another local international why can't i think there are so many y'all. Oh, Abba and Preach, Different Perspective, Kristen Dominique, DDG, Jay Shetty, love Jay Shetty, love Jay Shetty. Like every day I watch at least one video, that's like my daily dose of spirituality. Azalea Williams, Jessica Kabisi, Kabisi, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but she's my inspiration when it comes to photography. Steven Speaks, Melanie Cruz, Will Smith, Simply Nessa, Juju and Dez, Mystic Got Vlogs, Pick Some Perfect, KB and Carla, love them. Mains by Mel, there are just so many. Those are a few of my favorite YouTubers.
Hey guys, so I'm currently editing the video that you are watching right now and I just realized that I didn't put a good news section in my video and I said in my first video that that would be something that I will incorporate in my videos. So I'm just going to leave you with like a positive quote. I hope that that is sufficient and that is to always remember that you have a purpose no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're experiencing right now, even if you're at your lowest point in your life just continue if you're still trying to figure out what your purpose is continue praying about it whether you are dead broke right now and you feel like this is it this is life for you just remember there's more to life this is just a season you're going through no matter how long it may seem there is light at the end of the tunnel and just try to keep the hope thank you so much for watching my video i will see you in the next clip favorite color would be a uh, dusty pink early bird or night owl definitely a night owl i'm trying to become an early bird do i like reading yes i love reading but i haven't been reading lately but we'll get back to that flats or heels flats when i'm at home i love sandals my Air Force ones i'm always wearing that too and then heels when i go out are you a funny person i think i am i'm probably not to other people you also notice like my voice getting animated here and there i'm not pretending this is just my personality like i'll talk in a british accent in an american accent and it's just part of who i am i'm not trying to fake or put up this lifestyle for y'all this is just me sharing different bits and pieces of who i am this is who i am favorite type of store i love stationery stores because i'm kind of obsessed with stationery i like typo it's the store that sells really cool notebooks and stuff mugs it's just i love it and then also stores that sell makeup and toiletries like products i'm obsessed with products i'm obsessed with things that smell good do you believe in yourself 100 percent i believe in myself do you have a best friend i do my fiance when was the last time you cried a few days ago not going to talk about it but it was except that because you are on a growth journey doesn't mean that everyone else should also now embark on that journey and it's just i'm just learning to accept behaviors of people and not allowing that behavior to like consume me and to just like detach from becoming so concerned about what they think of me Do I have plenty of friends? Plenty of friends? No. Plenty of acquaintances? Yes. Am I spiritual? Absolutely. I meditate. I believe in, you know, showing compassion, serving people. Do I believe in God? 120%. Like, I absolutely believe that He exists. He is real and He's the reason why I'm here today. Do you like scary movies? No, 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 no. Which is so weird because as a kid, I remember me my friends we would have movie days and every saturday we each get like a turn to pick a movie so whenever it was my turn to choose a movie i would like go straight to the horror movie aisle the first thing i notice about a person would be their smile if we're talking about physical and then their aura just the energy my weight and height i last time i weighed myself i was like 60 kilograms height i am 5'3 why did i join youtube well it's always been something that i wanted to do yeah and i finally have the confidence to do so best advice i received i was watching a podcast by jay shetty and russ and russ said that the best advice he received was to be unrealistic and that's perfectly fine the worst advice received was to be realistic before i carry on with the next few questions i'm going to use this highlighter from Maybelline again the cheekbones because we want to look this matched or the glowing we want to glow <gasps> yo I was supposed to put blush on before I put highlight on we have the essence the blush and then I like to like dab it on my nose as well almost like a sun-kissed look And then we go back with the highlighter. Mm. 
I don't know if you can see it, but I have like a button nose which is so weird like back in the day people would make fun of me and now I see girls trying to create the button nose it's so crazy like one minute you you hate yourself and then the next people are wanting to be that way so I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm going to add some color to my eyelids My biggest fear is dying without living or achieving my dreams or something bad happening to the people I love. And then I'm going to put some highlighter in the corners. What would you change about yourself if you could that I can be myself? It's not necessarily like, oh, she has a car, I don't. It's more physical. Oh, she has a nice body. I'm working on getting a nice body. Next question, what makes you really angry? People that assume things when you don't ask questions, you just quick to jump. Constant people. What motivates you to work hard? My goals wanting to achieve them but what did i want to be when i was a little girl i wanted to be so many things i wanted to be a teacher that was number one. Oh, i also wanted to be like a fashion designer i remember when i was younger i had like this um sewing machine it was my sister's and then like passed on to me but it was a toy sewing machine so i remember taking like plastic bag and sewing them together for like clothing for my bobbies my battery just died on my camera so i'm going to use my cell phone for the rest of this video which would you rather do wash dishes mow the lawn clean the bathroom or vacuum the house i would do everything except wash dishes and mow the lawn i love cleaning even though I do them every day. There's certain things you don't like doing, but you just gotta do. Let's do one more question. Do you like or dislike surprises? I How many pillows do you sleep with? Well, I have quite a few pillows on my bed, but I don't sleep with all of them. Obviously one for my head, one for my legs. I have this bad habit where I can't sleep without having a pillow between my legs. And I have one that I hold. I'm going to add like some color. I have the MAC mascara, it's really dried up right now, but it's really good though. I'm not going to put on a lot of mascara because I hate taking this off. I'm literally going to take this makeup off, like as soon as I'm done with this video. And that's about it for mascara. So lips, I'm going to use this pencil as like a, what do you call it, lip liner. And then I go in with this Maybelline pencil crayon thingy. And then I just go over with a lip gloss. This one is from Essence. As you can see, it looks nasty, but it does the job and it smells, it smells good. Step, we go in with the Maybelline. See, I'm trying to hide this finger. It's okay, y'all know now. There's no going back from this. So, we have the Lasting Fix Spray. We just <laughs> that is it for today's makeup look. If you 
have any more questions for me please leave your comments down below if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up also click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time i post a new video if you came this far into the video thank you so much for your love your energy i appreciate you be blessed stay blessed and remember you're beautiful and god loves you